everybody. Happy New Year. I hope you're having an awesome New Year. And I wanted to start off this year by giving you something that for me has been a really, really fun thing that I've been waiting to do for a while. What you're looking at here, uh, this is my, okay, I worked behind the counter in fragrances and cosmetics between the eight, the late 80s through to the late 90s. I didn't do that only, I did a lot of other stuff too. But during that time when I worked in those industries, I collected up some um, some of the, the fragrance minis that were available at the time. And uh, the, none of these are new. These are all from my vintage collection because I went to my storage unit. And these are from the, the 80s and 90s, all of these. And I hadn't really... Even though uh, a few of them have some missing, I never used these. For these, mostly all I did was grab them and put them away in my little uh, my little display case that I've just always had, but I didn't bring it with me when I moved to Canada. I left it in my storage unit. So it's been in there all this time. And these fragrance bottles, some of them have never been opened ever because I thought that maybe I could preserve them as long as possible if I never opened them and um, I have opened a few since I brought them home. And I was really delighted to, to find that most of them still smell the same, but I didn't open them all. I thought it, that would be kind of something fun for me to do and to talk to you guys about and tell you my opinion on that stuff, you know. And, but what I wanted to do today was to just give you the lowdown on the ones I have. These are my only my vintage ones and I have a few more that are like, somewhere I, I couldn't find but and I have a few duplicates but I wanted to tell you the names of all these fragrances and also to let you know that I plan to review all these fragrances um, and some of them are really really interesting historically I mean they all are but you know I I just think that that that's a goal of mine to just sort of you know be part of the overall you know memory of what fragrances used to smell like versus what they smell like now so um Anyways, I'm about to tell you what they all are. All right. So we're going to start, I think, maybe, what, left to right, left to right. Yeah, let's go left to right. <clears throat> okay. So back here in the back, I have the box. You know, I thought I had boxes for a lot of these, and I couldn't find them. This one is called Rose Cardin, which I don't remember how I got it. I don't remember why I have it. I don't, I don't think I ever sold it. I don't know if it was in a store I worked at. But it is one of those fragrances that it isn't really around anymore, I don't think. So, you know what? I should probably not pick these up. I'll just tell you as I go. I'll tell you more about them later on, um, you know, as I review them. Um, Rose Cardin, Raffiné, Eau de Gucci, K.L. Om, Azaro Pogom, Fendi. That was such an unusual fragrance when it came out. Coco Chanel. By the way, um, a lot of these are parfums, but some of them are not. So that's why I thought maybe, you know, parfums, some of them, because there's not the alcohol in there, it's not likely to evaporate as much, but I don't know. So Jill Sander, number... Jill Sander, is this number four? Jill Sander, number four. Uh, Carolina Herrera. Givenchy, three. Gucci, number three. Oh, I just have to, oh, Gucci, number three. Man, that was, that was a really nice fragrance. I wore it a lot, a lot. Okay, back you go, little Gucci, number three. Okay, where was I? Okay, it was, it was Givenchy 3, Gucci number 3. Oh, two threes next to each other. Um, Elizabeth Taylor's Passion. Nocturne by Caron. DNA by uh, Bijan. Santos for Men uh, by Cartier. Uh, let's see, should I do the next line here? I think I missed a lot here. Let's see, okay, I start Carolina Herrera. Okay. This is Nina by Nina Rishi. This one. Uh, Paris, Eau de Parfum. Paris, of course, still going strong. 
Lulu by Casherelle. Oscar de la Renta, Eau de Toilette. Wings by Giorgio. That's a cute little one. Perry Ellis for Women. La Lique, The Glass Company. And I didn't use these. So I don't know, they must have just leaked or evaporated in my storage unit. But I mean, you know, it's been like a long, long, long time. They've been in the storage unit for like 20 years. And then before that, they weren't new. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. And then this is Delice by uh, Laura Ashley. Amarige by Givenchy. Ah, polo green for men. The good old, good old. White Shoulders by Evian. Fendi Womo for men. And this one back here, I'm going to save until the end because it's special. <clears throat> They're all, you're all special. You're all beautiful. Mommy loves you all. But, it, you know, it's different. You know, it's different. Here we go. All right. Here we are on the upper tier. We've got Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Chloe, um, yeah, Samsara by Guerlain, I'm spoiling some, uh, okay, uh, Shalimar by Guerlain, who I work for that company, Tiffany, I'm sorry, this one, it's an Avon fragrance, and I looked it up, and now I don't remember the name of it, but I will have to get back to you on that one. Um, cause I'm going to be reviewing all these too. Uh, Chanel number 19, Paloma Picasso. Oh, do I have a history and memories with Paloma? Here's an unusual one. Uh, this one is Caesar's women from Caesar's palace. The, uh, the casino who knew, right? It's a nice fragrance too. This one is called Decolleté from Merle Norman. And I remember it was associated with Catherine Deneuve. I don't remember why. I don't know if she created it or what the deal was. But going up to the next tier. Uh, Eternity for women. Issa Tis for women. Oscar de la Renta. I worked for Oscar de la Renta too. Parfum. Uh, Léa Duton by Nina Rishi. Normandy by Jean Patu. There's some interesting background to this one. Magie Noir from Lancome. Everybody's, everybody's old bud. If you were around then, I had it and I loved it. It was a, anyways, moving on. Um, <laughs> that's for later. Uh, Poor Monsieur by Chanel. Chloe Narcisse. Do you remember Chloe Narcisse? That one, mm, interesting. Uh, uh, Fleur d'Anterdi from Givenchy. Uh, L'Encon Tresor. And this one here is very unusual. Um, but you know, I'm not going to expand on that, am I? No, I'm just going to tell you what it is. Their uh, musician, Herb Alpert, came out with a fragrance company. And he made a perfume, a fragrance called Listen. And I was there when they launched it. And this is the fragrance. Listen. And the one I said I was going to get back to, uh, there are 50 here, by the way. The one I said I was going to get back to, this one, I'm going to put in the middle and talk about it for a sec. Sorry, Paloma. This is actually not a real bottle. This is a factice. It's when you look and you see in the, in the cases, um, and you see like these huge bottles in there on display. A lot of times they're not the real fragrance. They're they're this. It's called a factice. And so you use them a lot of display. This one is from Drumroll. Cher Uninhibited. Cher had a fragrance called Uninhibited, and I was there when it launched. And in the end, I think I, I ended up getting this factice. I think I think the fragrance got discontinued. I don't know what happened, but they weren't selling it anymore or something. And I ended up getting a factice and also um, uh, some of the display. Um, isn't that a neat bottle? 
some of the display, um, I forget what it's called, I'm sorry. The stuff you put it over tables like runners and it said share uninhibited. But when I went to my storage unit, I didn't find that. I had some for this fragrance too. Um, uh, Elizabeth Taylor's Passion, because that also launched around the same time when I was working in fragrance. So there you have it. My whole collection of uh, uh, vintage minis from the 80s, mostly the 80s and also from the 90s. And I hope that you enjoyed this. And if there's any of these that you would like me to put on priority for reviewing, please let me know because uh, I will. I will definitely do that. I love all these fragrances so much. But now that things are available about them that honestly, you know, I didn't know when I worked in fragrances and cosmetics, I didn't know what's available now. Uh, I find it very interesting to learn all this stuff. So anyways, I want to thank you so much for giving me so much fun, giving me a reason to talk about my memories working in cosmetics and fragrance with this channel. And uh, I'm sorry, I, I wanted to be on camera for this, but I, I, uh, I just have some issues going on right now and I, I wasn't really able to put the makeup on and, and do the stuff like that but I am glad that I was able to do this and I hope you'll come back and see me soon and I hope you'll help me uh you know contribute to the history of fragrance just by talking about the things I remember um and, and uh like I said I'm going to open all these and I'm going to tell you my feeling about them and whether or not I think they still smell the same you know all of that so thanks a lot and happy new year and please go ahead and subscribe if you like this stuff i'm doing videos tuesday wait no sorry <laughs> monday and thursday so uh yeah let me know bye happy new year yeah